Hi everybody, this is Tracy Stutter with Discovery Tech, and I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not, but mountain climbers are on Everest trying to make it to the summit, and the Discovery Channel television crews are there filming to make a new series for Discovery Channel. In the meantime, we're going to be looking at Everest and mountain climbing from a tech angle. And so this week on the site, I have a wide angle about mountain climbing and the technology that's used to get you there and also to help you survive and for rescue situations. But before we get into that, I want to go over last week's poll results, which I had posted on my blog. And here's how you voted. So basically I had a dilemma, I couldn't decide if I was going to run wind power or tissue engineering as a wide angle. You all picked wind power, but tissue engineering was a close second, so I'll be addressing that topic pretty soon. Okay, so now on to this week's wide angle about the tech face of Everest. First, check out our blog, Live from Everest, which features a couple of Discovery Channel crew members who are giving you a day-by-day -day update on the events unfolding as they happen. Mount Everest climbers need a lot of specialized gear, including clothing, tools, and supplies. So here's a list of everything they use. It's not comprehensive, but it gives you a good idea. I have a slideshow for you featuring a range of high altitude mountain rescue technologies. We have an interactive online game called The Razor's Edge. I have an opinion piece from Mark Inglis, the first double amputee to ever summit Everest. I have a top 10 survival tools and five amazing rescues, including one that was done on Mount Everest. And garbage and human waste is a huge problem on Everest. It tends to accumulate more than it does in a New Jersey landfill. Alyssa Danagellis has a blog about clean mountain cans which is helping to address at least one of those problems, human waste. I don't know about you, but I was really surprised to learn about all the litter that's on Everest. I had heard about it in the past, but didn't realize the extent of all the garbage. So in response, I have a poll to ask you what you think about litterers on Everest and if they should be fined for their wrongdoing. So make sure you visit my blog and make your selection. Okay, so that's it for this week's wide angle topic on the tech face of Everest. Next week, I'll be posting a wide angle about present day Terminators because as you know, the Terminator Salvation movie's out. I'll be seeing it and you'll be tuning in to the website.